All right, guys, we're here at Stockton here Friday, September 13th. I think it's Friday the 13th today. Uh, everybody's been kind of asking about a trailer tour. So I'm going to show you around the JJR trailer, show uh, you guys what an organized World of Outlaw team looks like, and uh, we'll have Patrick and Tyler, and maybe a little bit of Phil here, showing everybody their areas of the trailer. And uh, let me know what you guys think. Should be a good time. So we'll start off with the mule. Always very organized. We'll have some rear end fluid, some cleaner, some mud off, WD-40. We'll have all our impact guns. And then everything is labeled. Everything's all very organized with foam or organizers for the sockets. Everything has its own place. Nothing could be out of place or it would mess everything up. Hammers, all foam. All cut in there fit the size and that's kind of so on and so forth you know they got uh, little fittings here to plug in all your air tools and it seems like here nowadays uh, more and more people are doing this um, the last couple teams I've been with have been uh, this organized like this so it's kind of a, a world of outlaws standard and I feel that's what separates separates the world of outlaws uh, from other teams in the country. Um, I feel even though as much as we race and uh, all the traveling we do, we still we stay very very organized. So, uh, you know, the mules like that in about every cabinet, other than some miscellaneous stuff. But um, you know, we got shocks. No shocks in this side right now, but uh, those are usually emergency spares. But here we'll have fuel jugs if we have an open red. We'll have torsion bars if we need to make a torsion bar change. Uh, we got extra rear end fluid, mud off, uh, tape. Um, what else we got in there? We got Loctite. Got our jack and wheel wrench. Got our spare front axle with radius rods and right front tire ready to go. Pretty much uh, everything you ever need. So I think this side should have shocks in it. Yep, this one's got shocks in it. Um, I feel like people that run gas shocks like we do don't carry as many. Uh, they're a little bit more expensive than a Pro or AFCO shock. But uh, what's unique about us and our mule is we carry a generator. We have power capabilities and we have air compressors. So um, at Knoxville, we don't need to carry air compressor into the infield. We have it all in one. And we got some spare radius rods, so uh, shout out to FK Rod Ends there. They give us all our rod ends for all our radius rods. So uh, that's the mule, and uh, we'll show you some tire stuff next with Patrick. All right, so after we showed you the mule, it's up to the tires and fuel now, and that will be Patrick. So Patrick is our fuel and tire guy. How are you doing today, Patrick? What's going on, guys? So this, uh, this cabin here, this is kind of where all the magic happens, you know. Um, so in here, it's kind of my tire cabinet. I rent rent some space out to fill here at the bottom with you know some of this motor maintenance stuff. But um, you got a lot here in a small cabinet, yeah, that's got, for sure. We got a lot going on in here. Um, we'll start at the top and just kind of work our way down. Up top, we have um, our Swindell bleeders. Yep. And then uh, we'll work our way down to the bottom shelf. There's a lot going on here. Um, so over here, this is a torque wrench. You got to torque all the uh, bead lock bolts. Don't want, yep. Don't want one of them coming off. Yep. Uh, and here you got your valve stem core tools. Yep, those are that. good. Yep. So then uh, wheel weights. Because uh, I complain if the wheel's not he, balanced. He bitches a lot. <laughs> if but, it's not balanced right, yeah. I'm um, complaining. And here we kind of got some wheel parts. Uh, Spare valve bolts. stems. Yep. You know, just Speed lock bolts. Stuff. Stuff you got to have out here to be successful. Yep, yep. Um, in here we got some spare bleeder parts, notebooks. Always got to keep a good notebook. Yep, yep. Um, I don't want to forget. Just, We're getting old. Yeah, sucks getting old. Some old, you know, old bleeder parts and whatnot. Yep, some standard old you know, bleeders. Some spares. So people don't know that the Swindell bleeders are electronic and you got to keep them plugged in and charged up. Uh, when the tire gets to a certain temperature, they'll kick in. And uh, they're the most precise and accurate bleeders out there. Uh, they're also the most expensive, but you got to pay to play. So that's where we're at. There got a couple got a, tire know, pressure gauges. gauges. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Keeps us hooked up. Always gonna have a spare for anything. Yep. Everything. So 
So that's your tire cabinet. Patrick shops uh, pretty simple tires, and then Tyler kind of does the fuel, but show all us. The, uh, all the go go juice is in here. And we'll pop this open. We got two cabinets like this. This trailer holds a good amount of fuel. Yeah. It's about, what, 55 gallons, roughly? Yeah, roughly. Maybe a little bit more. I think it's 40 in each cabinet. So okay, yeah. A little bit more. Yeah, so we're, um, we so got quite a bit. This holds the exact same amount. These are actually all empty. So me and Tyler kind of have our system down. He turns the jugs backwards when uh, when they're empty. They're so empty? When we need some fuel. I did not know that, so that's yeah. something I'll learn every day. Uh, teaching David stuff there stuff every day out here on the road but uh that's pretty much it for my department in the, in the uh, trailer so. all right that's patrick's one third uh we have all our wings up here we got four nose wings up there and three top wings luckily we are fully stocked and hopefully we'll keep that going here going forward knock on wood so uh we'll get tyler next to show us uh what's going on in the rest of the trailer and uh go from there all right, here we are with Tyler, the car chief. He kind of handles all the nuts and bolts, uh, everything moving on the race car is his job. So, Tyler, how are you doing today, bud? Uh, pretty good. It's actually pretty toasty here in Stockton. We've been uh, it's very spoiled warm. since we left for the northwest, and now we're in 100 degree temperatures. So. Yeah. Try to stay cool. Get ready to race here in a couple hours. So. As they say, good thing it's dry heat. If we had humidity, you would be right. dying, yep. especially Patrick. That's right. So, uh, yeah. We're Take us into your into crib it. here. So, this is kind of the first cabinet here. Uh, basically, we got all the gear selection, big track, little tracks, bars, you know, you name it. Torsion bars. Whose bars do we run? Uh, we run chalk sticks. We run chalk sticks. Yeah. And those are all uh, gear sets, yep, all gear labeled. Stuff, reamer in case we need to uh, put a new bushing in the rear rack, front rack. Yep, we had one break there last yeah, week. Right. So. so then we go to this one here. And uh, being on the road, you know, these West Coast tours, we go out for, you know, five, seven weeks or so. So we got to have everything. We don't have time to go home get something new so uh that's for sure got spare front ends radius rods drag length tie rods rear end so we are not missing a front end because we crashed it it's on the mule already yeah, in case in case we do crash and in case we do crash like, it's ready to rip to do that, so. so we got yeah, you know uh, everything up. nice nice mm -hmm. every radius mm -hmm. rod sitting there bird cages got arms and radius rods yeah, on them already everything ready to rock and uh Looking That's tight. not everything though, because I mean, if sometimes you have a bad year, you're gonna have to do it, do it twice. I mean, we got a, basically a copy of the cabinet. This there. one's pretty, cause this one's missing yeah. no parts. These are uh, these are all brand new stuff here, pretty much. This so. is all brand spanking new. Yeah. Kenny Graber axles. Basically the same thing, spare drive shaft. So. Winners rear ends. ends. Yeah. Not as much uh, radius rods in this one, but. So we run much. all Lee radius rods uh, and FK much. rod ends. Yeah, and uh, Kenny Graber. Kenny Graber, Graber Racing Components is yeah. the name of his company. So then, Good friend of JJR for a long time. Uh, I mean, you can just show us yeah, just I mean, uh, what we use. Like I said, we're on the road for a while, so we got to have We got to give a shout out to uh, High Performance Lubricants, Canon Oil Filters, um, you know, all those things. Welder, hopefully we don't got to break that thing out. But yep, High Performance more. keeps us uh, looped up, the race car inside and out yep. with our mud off, detailer, all that good stuff. This here's the old Lista. This also uh, more parts and bolts, obviously. I never knew what a Lista cabinet was. I thought you just called these drawers, and then every sprint car mechanic was like, "Oh yeah, it's in the Lista." Well, it actually is. Well, but here's the brand oh, right yeah, here. Lista, right there, yeah. So now it made sense that it's the brand. Yeah. And it's so whatever we it's, need: wing it's, bolts, radius rod, jam nuts, everything. Yep. We got plenty of tie bolts and, and jet nuts in here. When I was looking for stuff, we do not have any generic steel bolts uh oh, we got some too. you know a little bit yeah but we got nothing but high-end stuff here yeah. none but the best gotta have your nuts uh then we got more parts i mean yep so yeah. this is if you wreck stuff and you got a you got pieces of the frame that's upright, upright for the panard bushings, bushings yep front arms, wing posts yep yep um, this everything. is we got fittings, caps, caps yeah. yep, AN caps, plugs, basically uh, brake stuff. That? The, uh, the one that says brake, ladder. yep, ladders, Willwood brakes. Willwood brakes is a good supporter of me and JJR, so thank you, Willwood brakes. Okay. Got on my Just Mustang, miscellaneous stuff. Miscellaneous duct tape, yeah, yep. miscellaneous drawer. Oh, Gotta have that, that, that junk nice drawer there. So let's show us where the money's at. Yeah, so this is where the uh, the ponies hang out, you know. This is uh, 
couple of our spare motors. That's all one of our Kistler engines. I will block out uh, what Kistler engine that exactly is, so we don't tell anybody any top secret information. But Paul Kistler is a big supporter of JJR. Uh, when we had our own team, we ran Kistler engines, and uh, he's done a great job for us. And uh, happy to win them in Knoxville Nationals along with. Jason, Tim Schaefer, Daniel Soski, so it's pretty cool to add that trailer, uh, trailer, add that trophy to his uh, cabinet there at Kistler. You know, I always walked in there, saw Tim Schaefer's trophy, I was always pretty jealous. So to add that, it is pretty cool. So thank you, Paul. We had, yeah, yeah, we got three in this cabinet. We got obviously one in the race car and one in the spare car. So uh, we are stocked up in good shape right now for engines. So. Um, Tyler, do we go into this one a little bit? Not really. Is there um, too much to show? Basic, really. This is where Phil checks his fueling, right? Yeah. His high-speed checker yeah. and Room, vacuum. Vacuum. That's just kind of like cleaning cabinet. Engine so, heater. engine heater. Yep. Engine. Yep. That's about it. Yep. Very cool. Lot, so. All right. Well. Yeah. That's about it, really. Thank you. Yeah, stuff, I appreciate so. it. Thanks, Tyler. And. Uh, no yeah, we'll see what we do today at Stockton. It's a hot one, but uh, should be good to go. Here we got all our tires. We got left rears up top, right rears down low, all labeled with a piece of tape, size, compound, all that good stuff. And we have Phil's shock dyno here. He's got a big old screen. He's spoiled with this thing. If you can't see this at his age, he's in trouble. But it's got to be like a 37 or a 42 here. Pretty good size. I don't think it's quite that big. No, I'm going with a 37 or a 32. 32 but he That's definitely good. can see his his shock graph here but next i'll show you upstairs kind of what we have for spare parts and spare cars so we are upstairs this is our first spare car pretty much ready to roll got a front axle rear end and engine in it pretty much you're going to drop it down put a top wing on it four wheels and tires and it should be ready to roll uh we have some tires we hold up there we got our wheel rack and then this is we would call our kit car, but luckily we're able to have a front and a rear end in it. A lot of people aren't able to do that. But uh, there's no engine in this car. You need it kind of light to move it forward to get onto this I-beam here. Because then the uh, hoist picks up the car and you just run it down the I-beam to the front of the trailer. Lower it down on the hoist and uh, makes life way easier. So... Probably thank you, Sammy Swindell or Steve Kinzer back in the day coming up with that. But those are spare cars. All in these cabinets is going to be all extra spare parts. Uh, don't really want to bore you with more parts, but it's a full-length cabinet of you know extra arm stops, um, wheel halves, uh, stuff like that. So, and this overhang, we got our bags. We got our California mufflers. Um, we got an engine box up there just in case if we blow an engine and need to ship one to Kistler. Uh, that's what we'll have that for. So there's the upstairs of Team JJR. Here's the lounge. We got the, the coffee maker here, K Cups. I think that's the most used thing in this lounge, Tyler and Phil get after it. We got a microwave. We got a decent sized fridge. Some people have smaller fridges. Got a little closet, have my suits, uh, guys' jackets, all that stuff for the winter, and then just a bathroom. We got a sink and a toilet. Some have showers, some don't. But uh, that's that's the full tour of uh, Team JJR. Actually, this mirror back here pulls down into a bed, uh, which I never knew, so it's kind of an invisible, uh, one of those like closet uh, beds that you used to see on TV. But uh, that's it, guys. Hope you like the uh, the tour. And uh, Tyler sent him off with something. Bye. <laughs> All right, guys. We'll talk to you later. Thanks.